This is Module 1, Lesson 16. Today's objective was to use the distributive property as a strategy to find related multiplication facts. Number 2. Match the multiplication expressions with their answers. I see that each of these sons are asking me to count by fours because four is my number of groups. We have been practicing counting by fours in class also. So for the first son, I'm going to count by fours six times. So I have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Four times six is 24. So I'm gonna match it to the moon on the end. I want you to try skip counting for four times seven, four times eight, and four times nine. Number three, the array below shows one strategy for solving nine times four. Explain the strategy using your own words. In class today, we learned about the distributive property and how we can break apart large problems and distribute them into smaller problems to help us find the answer. I will walk you through how to solve this problem. Listen carefully so you can explain how we found the answer by writing that information next to the problem. The first thing I see is an array that shows five times four. I'm going to skip count by fives Excuse me, I'm going to skip count by fours until I get my total for this section. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Five times four equals twenty. On the bottom, I have four times four. So I will skip count by fours until I get my product. Four, eight, twelve, 16. 4 times 4 is 16. If I look at the problem altogether, I have a total of 9 rows of 4. So if I were going to find the answer for 9 times 4, I would take the answers for 5 times 4 and 4 times 4 and add them together. 20 plus 16, which would give me 36. So taking these two smaller answers and adding them together gives me the total for 9 times 4. Think about what we just did in solving our two separate multiplication problems to find the total for 9 times 4 and try to write that in your own words.